Hi NEET aspirants, welcome to Unacademy NEET English. I'm your biology educator Ambika Sharma and today we are going to talk about the detailed strategy to score 360 out of 360 marks in biology and let me tell you here in this video we will talk about the timetable, about the chapters, about the distribution and about the syllabus completion and the revision as well. So watch this video till the end and let me tell you I really don't like to share the strategy videos again and again. It's because many students, they are demanding it. So I'm sharing it. So please, I, I trust you people. I know you guys are the serious need aspirants. So please watch this video, follow it. And definitely, I'm telling you, Bachay, you will crack your need examination. Now come to this part. See, biology, you know that it is making 50% of the need syllabus. If I talk about the cutoff, right, these days, you know that if you belong to the general category, right, so you need to score 700 to 720 marks in the need examination. Like, at least you should keep this target that I have to score 700 plus marks. Okay, rest it depends, okay, that uh, which college you want to take, but ultimately you should target 700 plus marks. So, if you're getting 360 marks in the biology, physics, 170, 118, uh, 117 chemistry, then obviously you will get 700 marks okay so if because in physics or chemistry sometimes you know no, we make mistakes right in calculation or uh, something so obviously there are chances that you will get you will score less marks if you will make such mistakes so if your biology will be having full marks no then it can balance okay it can balance you will get good marks and you will get, take admission in the uh, in your dream college basically okay so now how to score full marks in biology we know that i don't think that it is uh, i need to mention it that yes you have to go for the ncrt you have to study the ncrt in detail each and every line of ncrt is important the theory of ncrt the diagrams the description of diagrams the summary even the questions which are given in exercise they are also important when you are preparing for the need examination so i I believe you know all that things isn't it you know all that things but again after knowing all that things still you are not able to get good marks the reason is you do not follow a proper strategy you think biology is easy we will do it later right we should finish the physics and chemistry first then we will focus on biology it's not the case biology is lengthy total 38 chapters are there and which it is theoretical so you have to revise it again and again so you have to start it from today only and daily you need to devote your time you have to give your time for this for this particular subject right so you have to follow a proper strategy then follow that same strategy whatever you have decided just follow it till the end do not change your strategy again and again okay so now come to this part so total 38 chapters are there class 11 22 chapters class 12 16 chapters kids you need to follow that old ncrt right now we do not have any update right that uh, nt or nmc will take paper from a uh, new ncrt or something no you have to follow the old ncrt so as of now just keep it in your head there are 38 chapters that you need to finish and if i talk about the time from august to your may 2024 your expected date is 5th may 2024 right your need examination will be there on 5th may 2024 so you have 200 plus days or i can say that 250 plus days you have to finish the 38 chapters and kids in this time i am not asking for your right uh, 7 hours 8 hours 10 hours i just need your 3 hours that's all this is what i'm demanding every day i need your 3 hours and if you are a dropper then definitely you have that much time and even if you are in class 12 you are not able to give 3 hours you can give 1.5 hours to me right you can follow the strategy you can increase the number of days then but you can then again you can give 1.5 hours so minimum minimum 3 hours please give it to me now to start with it is the month of work, august today it's 5th of august right so let's start with the plant physiology if you are watching this video so i am assuming that you know the basics and you can start from this unit if it is not the case you can start from any unit i have divided everything as per the units here so just have a look here so in the plant physiology total five chapters are there each chapter three days trust me it's sufficient you think plant physiology is difficult plant physiology is not at all difficult in plant physiology you need to understand the concept it's just the cycle part which is difficult and that you need to revise again and again right every day you if you will start uh, giving your 10 minutes to revise that cycles now it will be on your fingertips so five days five chapters three days so total 15 days so if you are starting from 6th of august let's take it till 22 august okay one day you might miss so let's take it till 
22nd August, right? You can take that time. So 6, 7, 8, obviously you can calculate it. Now come to the after plant physiology, go for the human physiology. In this strategy, I am mainly focusing on the most important units, right? The units which takes a lot of time and now you have sufficient time. So you should start preparing with these units, bache, because you are not under pressure. Okay, and these are the conceptual things. There are some things that you need to mug up. Otherwise, all of them are conceptual. So, start with it. Now, come to the human physiology. Seven chapters and of course, it is lengthy. And here, each chapter requires four days. Right? So, you have to give your seven chapters, four days means 28 days to this human physiology. Right? You have to give your 28 days to this human physiology. So, let's say you are taking it till 18th of September. 19th of September, even 20th of September, I have added two extra days of revision as well. Okay, let's assume that you are completing your plant physiology and human physiology till you can say that your 20th of September, you can even make it 22 as per your comfort. Okay, now come to the cell biology. Next unit is cell biology. Cell biology is having three chapters. Each chapter, right, for each chapter, you need three days, means total nine days you need for this particular chapter so let's say you have finished it till 29th of september okay okay so here you know that august month 30 right till 31st you have the time and then you have the september so here let's say let's say you finished these three units till 30th of september and trust me it's possible it is feasible I have done it with my students and then only I am sharing it with you, right? And I'm not talking about the toppers here. I'm talking about the average students here, right? I was teaching them and I have seen the progress in their results. So every day they were just giving me this three hours and we were revising it. So this is what you have to do. You want to take the help from online classes? Your wish. If you are going to the offline classes, you can follow the same strategy. So this is what you have to do. So till September, you have to finish your plant physiology, human physiology and cell biology and it is possible. Mark my words, kids. Now, after September, there is the month of October. Then start with the class 12 syllabus and start with the genetics because still you have time. And if you are in class 12, it is very good for you because it is very important for your boards as well. So in genetics, there are two chapters, right? Molecular basis of inheritance and the principles, right? Molecular basis and the principles of inheritance and variation. So each chapter, give four days to each chapter. Yes, three hours a day. Four days to each chapter. So, 1st October to 8th October. That time period is sufficient for you. And even you can give two days for the revision as well. Here also, but I have added the time for the revision. Right? So, revision is important. So, in revision, you can give one hour, two hour, and you can just revise whatever you have done so far. You can take the help from the short notes. So, in the month of October till, till 10th of October, you can finish it. You can finish these two chapters from the genetics and for evolution, three days are more than sufficient, 11, 12th and 13. Done. More than sufficient for evolution. Then comes 14th, 15th, 16th, start with the reproduction unit. Okay, three days again, more than sufficient for human reproduction. I have completed this chapter, you can watch that video. 17th, 18th, again, more than sufficient for reproductive health. 19th, 20th, 21st for sexual reproduction in flowering plants. I have, uh, I'm not adding the reproduction in organisms there. I'm just adding the most important, most important chapters and the units there. So this is what you have to do. So from 22nd to 25th, again, you people can revise. Again, you guys can go for the revision. Isn't it? Isn't it? Tell me, obviously it is possible. Right, students? It is possible. Right, you can go for that. And then after that, what you have to do, right, you can give your time to the biotech. Isn't it? You can even calculate Okay, you can even check it, you can even calculate, right, yeah, this time period is more than sufficient to complete these units and as I'm saying, bache, as I'm saying, right, it is tried and tested method, okay, it is tried and tested method. So, what you have to do till 31st of October, you need to revise your biotech, two chapters, five days are there, okay, more than five days are there. Okay, so that is more than sufficient. You can revise meanwhile. This is what you have to do. So now after October, enter in the November. So in the month of November, just pick up human health and disease microbes in human welfare. From microbes in human welfare, but your questions are fixed. You will get only that questions in your paper. Just pick up the PYQs, 
check the questions and revise it that will be very good for you and even it is important for your boards as well so human health and disease microbes in human welfare five days are more than sufficient then six to seven again revision so i told you you have sufficient time you still have sufficient time now ecology four chapters right give four days to each chapter means total you have to give 16 days to your ecology so till 23rd of november you can finish your eco as well okay you can finish your eco as well so in the remaining time just complete your remaining class 12 chapter reproduction in organism strategies for enhancement in food production so you can pick up that chapters then and then in the month of revision uh, december 15 days for your revision 15 days for your class 11 chapter like your diversity morpho and anatomy morpho again revision daily you have to give 10 10 minutes anatomy sit once make the notes and then revise it diversity examples are there i have shared many uh, videos for the tri uh, trick videos as well for use them and then revise right so that is why that is why i'm telling you do not go for the diversity now you can you can utilize the month of december for it okay so you have less time might be you are in class 12 you want to prepare for your boards as well so you can just revise it because you have to just mug up the facts okay so you can even give your two hours so it is a feasible so january february march april again and again you can revise you can go for the mock test so yes practically it is possible to complete your syllabus even if you are starting from zero and it is possible to complete your syllabus in remaining time and you can see i have given you with the help of the strategy you guys can use four months for the revision and in these four months every day every day just give the time to that theoretical chapters where so many examples are there like animal kingdom plant kingdom biological classification so you can do it mark my words it's just that you need to feel motivated see these strategy videos many teachers are sharing it why why is it so because you want it why you want it because you feel demotivated and you want a teacher who's saying all right you can do it you can do it we trust you you can do it guys motivation is always intrinsic right and after after that what you have to do you need to be disciplined right after motivation what is most important the discipline then only then only you can reach your goal so please please and please you still have time i will again share the videos in the last three months but it is of no use now you have sufficient time i'm just asking for three hours a day from droppers and two hours a day from the class 12 students and you can crack your need examination so please follow it and in the comment section just put it right that yes ma'am we will do it we will crack need exam hashtag let's crack need together so follow this channel i will keep posting such content and if there is any doubt any problem any chapter you want me to start next let me know i will do it and let me tell you students here this is the last day to get enrolled in our NEET Energized Batch. After that, there will be no entry for NEET Energized Batch. You will not get the mock test, revision, doubt sessions then. Okay, so what you have to do, you can check any video. Just go to this part. See, here I have shared the trick video as well, right? Just go to this description box, click the link here, add your number, add your email and be the part of this batch. This batch is one of the best batches for the NEET preparation. So keep working hard. Time to time, I will come, I will remind you that yes, you can crack it, you have that potential, definitely you will crack it, stay tuned.